Hey guys, so I've taken this look from Chrisette Michelle in the video Goodbye Game. It is a beautiful video with very, very amazing lyrics. So if you want to check that out, it is the link is in the um, bottom bar. So feel free to check it out if, if you want to learn how to complete this look. Keep on watching. So the first thing we're going to do is use somewhat of a champagne yellowish color called Nylon from MAC and I'm just going to use a stiff flat brush now when I say that this is easy, it is very easy and you simply want to apply that everywhere on the lid and you slightly want to bring it up just in the crease, not quite in the crease but just bring it up just a little bit so once that we blend the colors they will have um, a nice gradient apply a little bit underneath the brow bone so I'm taking just a little bit and I'm just brushing it right underneath the brow and I'm just blending it downwards a little bit so now we have like the primary color that we're using we're only using like two colors onto the lids it's really really easy 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 with an H anyways it's really really easy next step we're just going to define our crease so I'm going to use mulch which is basically just a medium brown but it has some gold shimmer in it and I'm just going to build up color with a Sigma E45 so just a tapered well not really tapered never mind <laughs> So I'm just taking a little bit of that brown, tapping out any excess, tilting my head back and applying that right into the crease. And after I'm just going to go with another fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend with it. After I'm taking a 239 brush and I just want to take that brown and just go and apply it to the lower lash line, mostly onto the outer corner, just like that, just to define the lashes a little bit. Now next thing I'm going to take Folie Blanche, which is a pigment from Lise Wetier, and I'm just taking a little bit just with the same fluffy brush that I wiped off. And you just want to apply a little bit of that right in the middle of the lid just to make everything more shimmery. Now next thing we're going to do is tight line our eye with a black coal liner. So I'm using Feline from MAC. So try to line your upper lash line as well. There's a hair. There we go. Next. I want to seal that liner, so I'm just taking a matte black and I'm using an angled brush. So this is the 266 from MAC. 266. 266 from MAC. And I'm just applying it right onto our liner we've applied. And I'm a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit, dragging down the product onto the lash line. Now the next part you can do with a gel liner or a nice shadow or a liquid liner, it is up to you. So we're just going to line our top lash line and also wing it out a little bit. So I'm using the same angle brush. I'm, I like to start just in the middle. Now the eyes are pretty much done. Actually, the only thing that needs to be done on the eyes is applying the lashes. Those amazing feather lashes. But before I do, I'm just going to apply a coat of mascara. Just because I don't want to apply mascara on my feather lashes because it's really, really hard to clean. So I'm just using any kind of black mascara just to kind of dye my lashes. I'm not going to apply anything, any, well anything, any mascara onto the lower lash line because 
I'll be applying some false lashes. So now let's move on with the feather lashes. I can't tell you like what kind of lashes they are because I bought them off um, eBay. But there's a lot of um, feather lashes out there. I know Makeup Forever makes some. So just go with it. Now I'm going to be applying um, lower lashes as well. I'm sorry I don't have the name because I've used them before. But they, just to make them a little bit fuller. So here we go. So there we go, the impact factor for this look has been done so it's basically all about the lashes once again you know I'm a lashes whore is that even a word maybe I just invented it anyways like I said it's all about the lashes now let's move on to the rest of the face I'm going to contour if I can find it somewhere don't you hate it my palettes don't have any labels so you always have to open each and every single one of them and of course is always the last one anyways so I'm going to contour with an angled blush brush and I'm going to contour with my lovely blush from MAC called Sincere next I'm going to be applying the blush so I'm going to use a dusty medium rose color called Notable from MAC. Now another color you could use if you are a darker complexion is definitely the color Fever from MAC. So for darker skin tones this is beautiful. But I'm going to go with Notable because I'm not that dark. So I'm just taking a dual fiber brush just because it, it gives like a very very light application of color. And uh, I'm just tapping that right into the hollow parts of my cheek and a little bit onto the apples too. I like using a dual fiber brush because you can definitely build the color because like with just a regular brush sometimes you tend to apply like too much right off the bat which is really hard to like take care of after. So you're better off using a very small amount and building the color up. So I'm typing, I'm typing, I'm tapping and after I'm kind of swiping. So perfect. Now we have that done. Now let's finish this with the lips. Everything is pretty much all over the place. Okay. So I'm going to start off with a lip pencil from Lise Wattier called Bordeaux, which is basically a deep um, a raspberry color. I'm going to apply that especially into the inner corners of my lips. So as you can see I'm just filling in my lips with the same pencil. Another color you could use on your lips, you could use uh, Cherry from, um, uh, no is it Cherry? Yeah, cherry from MAC or of course cherry from NYX but I like using this color Bordeaux because it's a little bit deeper than cherry a little bit more on the blue side so for the lips I'm going to be using two colors I'm going to be using the Lise Watier cherry blossom and I'm also going to use another deeper red I'm sorry I don't have the name I believe it is a Okay, that's not a MAC lipstick. It's probably a Revlon lipstick just from the smell of it. But it's deeper and it's more on the blue tone. So with a lip brush. Oh, this has dried out, girl. So with, with a lip brush, I'm going to start applying this color into the um, inner corners. And when applying lipstick of any bright color, I do recommend using a brush. I know sometimes when the lipstick is new, it has like some sharp edges, so it's 
<coughs> easier, but go with the brush, please. And once again, I'm going with multiple colors on the lips just to make them fuller and give them like a three-dimensional three dimensional look. Having a hard time to talk, guys. Sorry. And after using another lip brush, because you don't really want the colors to mix like right off the bat, I'm going to use these Wetier Terry Blossom. Oh, my pencils are weird. And you want to apply that right into the center of your lips. So there we go for the lips. For, for the lips. I can talk. There we go for the lips. Now I'm just going to use a clear lip glass on top to make the lips really, 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 really shiny. Who doesn't want shiny lips, right? Oh my god, I feel like um, Justin Bieber hitting puberty. Don't you think so? With that voice? It's not cute. It's not cute at all, Justin Bieber. Bieber my balls. That's too much gloss now. We're ready to take the photos now. <laughs> 